<laughs> What's good, y'all? Made the best fans. It's your main man, Master Sir Hill. You're the Master Master of the Round Table. I'm coming to want to subscribe to this video. Now, I'm coming to you in unedited fashion. And my big ass oversized hoodie with the transit shirt on because we're making moves. I have finally watched the Made the Best finale. Now, to the people who we tracked a few seasons ago, you know why it took me forever to actually watch this finale. And many of the best fans who's watching this video, I'm not gonna cut your teeth. Anyways, y'all know that I had a past history on this, in this year, even though this year anime has been boss as hell. There's been some shows that I was reviewing week to week, but I kind of fell out with in a certain sense, some cases where I wasn't even enjoying the show while I was watching it, until it eventually picked things back up. And Made in the Best Season 2 was indeed one of those shows, except Made in the Best Season 2 got the worst. Like, you guys know for weeks and weeks on hand, until I just straight up ratted for a few weeks, Made in the Best Season 2 was pissing me off. And the reason why it hit me like that, because Made in the Best Season 1, damn near perfection. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure the year that came out, I want to say 2019, I, I went ahead to name that anime of the year. So, when it went to season two, and was doing a lot of stuff that I did not like, the story beast that was going on, I did not like. All of his ratchet, disgusting scenes that I did not like, the way the skin crawl, it very much pissed me off. I was ready to drop the show. But I gave it the benefit of the doubt, and honestly, when it comes to the stuff with Fapita, it kept it interesting. When we finally got to Fapita actually going in, yes, there was a good anime TV. Now, the reason it took me forever to watch this finale, is basically the reasons I just told you. When even though Made in Biz was picking up, the bad outweighed the good, and I got to that one week straight up, week 12, ready to just go ahead and put it to bed. Ready to go ahead and just finish it and do it. Then I look up and the episode don't come out. I'm like, what the hell? Then we look it up and they say they're going to delay it to next week to give us a damn near hour special. I said no. The special came, I didn't indulge. And the only reason I have to give y'all is straight up. Made it missed, did not make it so, it was worth my time. I was ready when you were supposed to give it to me. You did not. And then you want me to sit down for an hour to watch it? Six months later, here we are. Now, the reason why I went ahead and watched this finale now, I actually thought about it a few weeks ago. Because I, you know, I was, I was thinking about doing some year-end videos and stuff, but you know, it was the holiday and people was coming through and it out. It was, this season was packed as it is. And I was just like, you know what, nah. Let me just actually try to watch some of the stuff I didn't really complete. And the only show that really got that was this. <laughs> so, yeah. Finish this episode. 47 minutes. Now, straight up, about the finale itself, it was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie with it. As far as anime finales go, this was actually pretty solid. Like, now, it still has some moments in there where I was kind of like, Ugh. But at least in this case, it was just, you know, made in a bit fashion, I guess. The only really moment that really hit me like that was Vecto, or her full name. It's like, you know, she was doomed from the start. <laughs> and you know how all the other kids from that flashback, it's just, you know, she was the only one really left. They turned into some crazy monsters, they just die out. Her time was coming. And, now, and, and honestly, I would have enjoyed her and Rapporteur trying, you know, find some common ground, able to live out their lives, even if it's not together, or just live out their lives in general, but not nah, Rekko had invited. And it's one of those things where, at the same time, though, it was kind of annoying just hearing her talk about how she couldn't forgive herself for Evie and Ruby's children. Girl, none of that crap was your fault. You guys was outplayed by the, whoever boss she do, whatever his name was, in charge. That guy was actually also a large part of why I didn't like season two. That was just freaking stupid, this guy. <laughs> Oh, man. But anyways, bruh. Far as it goes with that, Fabrice's story in itself is just a tragic one. Like, even she said it herself, even though when she got that boost and she started going back in, she didn't think she was going to survive. Let alone records. <laughs> so, honestly, her really just not being dead, the possibility of returning to everybody later on, is really a happy ending in itself. 
But I'm glad they didn't push it as far as they could. Cause they were trying to go for the super happy and they talking about hey Vampita joined the crew, joined Ray Nashi and uh damn oh my lord, I forgot her name. Rico. My god, did I even watch the show? <laughs> uh, just joined the main crew and just go on the rest of the adventures with them and she said something about it because she got a living to do first, which is true. She hasn't been able to live her life whatsoever outside of this mission that she's been on. And she needs some time to live, some time to grow, some time to exist before she just jumps ship on another huge mission for her life to partake in, which is understandable first and foremost. And yeah, it's to me, it's kind of more realistic because her all of a sudden doing all this dumb shit, going through this crazy stuff, then having to go through the whole memories of rag stuff, stuff, the backlash that went on with that, and figuring out that she was the one that cut their hair and put it in that animal's ass. I didn't need to remind her that that happened. Stuff like that. Her joining the crew, just moving on with the crew, would have been too easy. So, yeah. And the messed up thing is, I want a new character to introduce. I like Five Touch the best. Because even though she's annoying as hell, it's just like her her story and how things was coming along with that. It was the most interesting part. But, we'll leave that in season two. Unless there is a season three, made, which apparently this thing comes out slow as hell. But, and there's not enough material out to my understanding for season three yet, but they're getting there. And apparently a season three or the material that's going to be enough for season three will end the series. So, Bumpetra could make an appearance back in there, or just be a cameo at the end of all this stuff if Greg actually goes back to her no matter what happens, because apparently Greg's going to stay the same when Rico grows up. I don't know how that affects Bumpetra, because that, well, Bumpetra's immortal, so I guess it doesn't. But there goes another big question when it comes to this. I was asked this while I was ranting on main events. Am I gonna drop the show or will I continue it after season two? Because I made it clear while I was doing my review that I was gonna finish season two. And eventually I did. I didn't lie. So, yeah. Straight up, I'll put it like this. Season three of main events comes out in the two plus years it's gonna take for it to come out. I'll watch it. I will. I'm gonna check it out. However, here's the truth of the matter is. Good finale, solid finale aside. Made of this season two was a miss for me. At the end of the day, it was a miss. You had one of the best shows, okay, one of the worst shows I've watched this year. How's that for me to cut and drive out? So, you're one and one. You're one and one, with one more round to go. Okay? Okay? Made a miss. What you gonna do? You know, come out here with the W or with the L? I'm not doing Made in the Bitch season. I'm not doing Made in the Bitch season two again. Made in the Bitch season three sucks. I'm not finishing it. So with that being said, hey, whenever y'all do it, I'll see. You. But make it worth my while. Don't give me no average shit. We're not tying this shit out. You need to be above the bar. You need to be what Made in the Bitch is able to be, nigga. Anyways. I have finished Made in Abyss Season 2. Be all time. You watch this video, leave me a comment. I don't know what you think. Like this video for me. Obviously, uh, peace out. Let's have a close it out season 2022. Actually, we're closing out 2022. Oh, wait, no. The new Gundam drops on January 1st. Yeah, this, 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 this season's over. This year's over, huh? Hmm. All right. Let's